In the small town of Ansonia, Connecticut, a big invention has taken place. Romanian-American scientist Dr. Constantine Tomoyu has found a way to turn water into energy. Hydrogen, air, and water are channeled into a reactor. Extremely high heat and immense pressure created by brilliantly engineered magnetic fields turn the particles into plasma state and compress them enough to create a nuclear reaction called fusion when the particles collide and release energy. In nature, fusion is the way the sun and the stars make energy as two hydrogen nuclei fuse together to form helium. In Dr. Tomoyu's new method of fusion, water provides protium, an isotope of hydrogen. Nitrogen particles from the air collide and fuse with protium. The reaction did not stop there. One of the products of this reaction, the alpha particle, is positively charged, representing electric energy before it decays into helium-4. And that's the process. In my reactor, I will put thermal energy and electric energy simultaneously. This entire process happens within a reactor that weighs only 33 pounds, the weight of a car battery. Up to today, other attempts to harness fusion energy involve reactors the size of three football fields, employ rare and radioactive ingredients such as deuterium and tritium, and have not succeeded in generating excess energy. Dr. Tomoyu's internal confinement fusion process, TICF, is a chemical thermonuclear process that uses no electric energy, yet has created excess energy more than three times the input energy, simply by adding water. There is no radiation in Tomoyu reactors. There is no emission and no risk uh, to run away reaction. Compared to the National Ignition Facility's nuclear fusion reactor, TICF is not just advantageous thanks to the smaller size. While it cost 3.5 billion US dollars to build the National Ignition Facility, it only costs about $10,000 to build Dr. Tomoyu's reactor. The NIF uses deuterium and tritium, which are rare and radioactive. TICF uses hydrogen and protium from water, which are abundant and pose no hazard to human health. In terms of efficiency, NIF requires more than 400 megajoules of electric energy to initiate the fusion reaction, only to output 3.15 megajoules for a brief 20 billionth of a second before the reaction ends. This means NIF makes an energy net loss of 99%, with no practicality whatsoever. Meanwhile, TICF only requires 4.4 megajoules of thermal energy to run the reactor and output 15.7 megajoules of energy, which is more than three times the input. Furthermore, the reaction runs continuously. Ten TICF reactors were tested at the University of Maryland, the City College of New York, and five independent laboratories between April 2013 and March 2022. All reactors have output net energy continuously, accumulating over 2,000 hours of certified data. TICF is ready to power the world. The application, the first, first application, see, how is heating, water boiler, commercial boiler, and heating. The next application, what I see, is to generate power, hook up to the grid. It can replace any power plant, which runs on hydrocarbons, or uh, fission fuel. The other next uh, application will be in transportation. We can power a car, we can power a boat, uh, can power an airplane. My mm -hmm. wish is yes, to see this up, up be applied everywhere mm -hmm. to, to save this planet, to have a better life.